Uh, I have a Yahoo here. Okay. Delicious. This Yahoo is sent in by Michelle Smith. Thank you. It's an anonymous. Oh, no. It's Yahoo Answers user Ricky who asks Is bird watching just guesswork? So far, I've seen about 20 odd birds and noted them down. I don't know if they're saying 20 birds and change or they have seen exactly 20 very strange birds. I've seen about 20 odd birds and noted them down. I'm just getting into bird watching and it's late in the year, so I don't have a serious list yet. The birds I've seen, particularly at a distance, I'm only about 60% sure I've correctly identified them. I can never totally be sure. Right now, I saw a fleeting glimpse of what I think, basing a Google search on a memory, was a buzzard. Can I really count that? Whoa. Uh, Hey, I've never birdwatched in my life. I know that that's not how you do it. (laughs) By the way, the first Yahoo answer responded to this says, Sure, personal finance. And I was like, what the fuck's that mean? That's the section that this question has been posted in. <laughs> oh, I see. Business and finance, personal finance. Is bird guessing just guesswork? I'm pretty sure one is supposed to like have a book and maybe you take a picture or you look at them with like binoculars and you okay. say, like, yes, that is that, right? You don't just like see a bird in the distance and say, I'm gonna remember that and remember to like think about it later. <laughs> Is there any hobby that is as susceptible to fucking speed runs as bird watching? Oh shit. Like there's no I mean, I could just stand near a book and with a notepad and just like start <laughs> writing names of some birds. And and if someone's like, uh, is this a purple bellied starling? Those aren't native to West Virginia at all. I'd just be like, Yeah, because I fucking kick ass at this. Yeah. I'm so good at this. I found one that's like Super hard to find because I'm killing it. I'm so I, dope. I saw it this um, this afternoon. I was just looking out my kitchen window. I was not even properly bird watching. I, I just like yawned and looked out the window, and I fucking no scoped a, a dick build prebus, and it was whoa so choice. That's not a bird. It is. I know. I found a new bird today while I was yawning. Yeah, it's an, I got found the first one. I no scoped it's a amazing. prebus. It's pretty tight. I really like that this question. Uh, basically is positing like that we are all kind of bird watching all the time. Like if you see a bird, whether you meant to or not, you are bird watching. It is up to you whether you want to follow up on step two, which is look up bird. But I could now sit down after 35 years of consecutive bird watching and try to remember all the birds I've seen yeah. and write them down. Just yeah. watching I, is, I saw a purple is, one once. Watching is challenging. Um, a challenging way of putting it, if you think about it. Cause like, I'm sure the birds would prefer you just like bird, like looking. Bird seeing. Bird seeing yeah, and then bird moving seeing. on with your life. <laughs> I, I was bird, bird watching. I was bird like, glimpsing. <laughs> bird watching's like, what's up next, you nasty woodpecker? What else do you got planned for the day? I'm just gonna watch you. It's perverse. By the way, I, I think the only reason a woodpecker does what it does and like hits its head against a tree is because it knows someone's watching. Like, because there is no way that <laughs> evolution was like, this is the best way to do this. Slam your face into a tree. I used to have an app. I think it's called Merlin. I, I may still have it installed. And I got into a habit of like, I would see these birds out on a tree outside our house. And I'd think, I wonder what kind of bird that is. And so I would enter into the Merlin app, the color of the bird, approximate size, whether it's on the ground or the trees. And then I would figure it out what bird it was. And then I would see the name of the bird and, and I would know it. And then I would <laughs> um, tell my wife and children. And then I stopped that because it turned out nobody gave a shit, <laughs> including, <laughs> including myself. I would just get this knowledge and be like, I don't give a shit about this. Why did I do all that? Uh, I could just be like, oh, pretty bird. How chill. What a chill way. Okay, I'm moving on with my life. But no, I had to fucking poke at my phone like an asshole for 20 minutes trying to figure out what kind of birds out there. And they know. They watch they me. Like, it. I'm not going to be able to play it off like I'm fucking Yule Gibbons. Like, I'm, I'm clearly just poking my phone like an asshole. This is one of my favorite weird facts about, like, it's one of the only things I know about that Audubon dude. So he went around spotting birds, listening to other people talk about birds, and drawing birds. And even today, there's some birds in that book that people are like, uh, no one else has ever seen that bird. And it makes me think that every so often he was just like, I don't know, what if a bird looked like this? <laughs> no one knows. It's like 1870 or whatever. They can't look at, they can't Google to see if this bird exists. I'm, I'm pop- this is my dream bird. 
My publisher says I can charge more if there's more pages of verse. <laughs> Ooh, I'm eight pages shy of my of my of my goal. Uh, I'm just gonna draw some now a silly one. Let's. Oh my god, here's my problem with it. I just googled this. Please don't Google it. We'll make a fun game out of it. But how many different types of birds do y'all think there is? Answer now. Uh, I'm gonna say roughly like ten thousand. You piece of shit. I was gonna shit. say eight. I was gonna say eight thousand. It's ten thousand. There's really? about 10,000 species of birds described worldwide. It's about. The one estimate of the real number places it at almost twice that. Hey, good numbers, science. <laughs> it's either this one or double it. So I'm going through, and there's so many different taxonomies, these bad boys. And that's why I could not get into this is because, like, there's 10,000 options. Is that a frog mouth or is that a night jar? I don't know, because I just saw those words on the internet. I'm never going to learn what they mean. The, I think we need to pare this down to like a dozen birds. Yes. That's, that I can do. And it That's can a big be, blue one. The big blue one would be like color bird. And we can get parrots in there. Flamingos, I think, could go in there. But I think flamingos, you could also taxonomize as the tall bird. with yes. ostr- And we'll put ostriches in there. And then we'll get uh, eaten birds. Those yep. are birds uh, that are delicious. Penguins get their own little nook. I think. Oh, you know what's fun about eating birds? We can make that birds that are good for eating and birds that are good at eating. At eating, yeah. Yeah. Pigeons. Uh, I, I do like this because I know myself well enough to know that if I tried to be a bird watcher, right, I would say like, oh, there's, you know, whatever, a, a green-billed honey hammer. And so I'm be like, no, it's not. And then I'd never do it again. So I like this idea of being able to say like, there is a big bird. And so yeah. be like, yes, it is. And now we and now we have something to talk about. It's gonna bring us closer together as friends and as people. And like, there is no like, no, that is not a that is not like an eaten bird. And like, yes, that is, that is a bird I would eat. You I'll decide know. what's an eaten bird. Yes, that, um, that's I'm one of those dis- weird dancy birds. I'm very disappointed because I just googled. I have seen every bird, and there's no <laughs> there's there's no no nothing written about it. <laughs> Hi, huh. my name is Todrick <laughs> Plebens, and I've seen. You may know me as the man who's seen every bird. <laughs> yeah, there's no. It's there's 2019. No, um, How is there not someone whose whole deal is they've seen every bird? They there's no one who said I've seen every bird. The closest I found is this this editorial in the Washington Post. that's titled "I Never Meant to Be a Birder, But the Birds Didn't Give Me Any Choice." And I'm not gonna read it. I'm just gonna leave it just like it is right there. That whole does that mean a bird is a boom boom boom? Hey, look at me. All right, write me down. Okay, I'm, I gotta I'm not go. gonna read it. Damn, the, uh, Wikipedia's got a list of holy shit, y'all. This is my new life. Wikipedia has a a list of. I'm sorry, not a list. A fucking scoreboard of who's seen the most birds. Ooh, and it's, it's Klaus Cla- Cla- Goran Cedarland has seen uh, 9,637, but then it says slash 9,636. There has to be one disputed bird. Ooh, you did how not many? Move. How many? 9,637. You got close, but you missed out on, a, on 400, didn't you there, Klaus? Ooh. I've seen, I've seen um, 9,738. Oh, shit. Go call yeah, Wikipedia. So I guess I'm, number, I'm number one <laughs> now, I guess, is what I'm saying, that I'm the number one. Bird Do they? Now. What if you've only seen one bird, but you've seen a lot of that one bird? Yeah, that's. I, yeah. I've only seen one kind of bird ever in my entire life, but one time I saw like fifty thousand of them at once. Damn, that's fair. You have to clear eight thousand to even for Wikipedia to even give a shit about you. I don't have time for that. Uh, hey, I got an idea. Let's uh, take a break and get the money zone. Okay. 